Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats. All right guys, Sam's Club has a few new Tattooed Chef products and so we picked them up. We're bringing you our reviews on them. We previously gave you a review for the Pad Thai and now we are moving on to the Tattooed Chef Cheeseburger Bowl, Riced Cauliflower, Plant-Based Beef and Cheddar Cheese topped with Secret Sauce relish and grilled onions. You get four of these 10 ounce bowls for $11.98. It is gluten-free and vegetarian. Now, if you guys don't know, Tattoo Chef, they have a very passionate following and primarily because of the stock price. But us, we only care about the products. And guys, we have an entire playlist dedicated to it. We've reviewed just about every single product of theirs. And today it's this one. And this is interesting because We've said in previous videos, they do a pretty good job on the imitation meat. Yes. And this is cheeseburger bowl. Visually, you know, it looks like you would expect it because it's, you know, in the microwave and all that. So it's not the greatest, but it smells good. Yeah, exactly. It does smell good. It smells like a burger. Now it does seem to be on this bed of rice cauliflower. So there is a pretty large amount of rice cauliflower in here. And then you've got your imitation meat and then your secret sauce, which looks kind of ketchupy in here, like it's a red, but there is a lot of cheese on here. It's very, very cheesy looking. Hopefully it tastes good because if you guys don't know, we are pretty much the largest Tattoo Chef reviewers on YouTube. And we try to bring you reviews every single time that we see new products. So if you love Tattooed Chef, the stock or the products, we don't really care. Hit that subscribe button and we're gonna try this out. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right guys, welcome back. Our rating system, thumbs up we'd bite again, thumbs down we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. Number one reason, it smells. Something in here just smells yeah. funky to me. I was trying to figure it out because I looked at the ingredients and it all looks you know, usual suspects, but for whatever reason, maybe because everything's mixed together, all these different ingredients just creates a funky smell to me, turns me off. Now, eating it, the imitation meat, I have no problem with it. It tastes pretty good. The rice cauliflower tastes pretty good. Um, would I call this a cheeseburger? No. And do I love it enough to buy it again? Definitely not. Out of all their products, this one is a miss. Mm. You know, I think they have other products that are better. This, thumbs down. Wow. All right. So for me, this one is going to be a thumbs down as well. I don't love this one. I don't think that it's terrible. By far, there are many worse products than this, but I would not repurchase it again. Number one thing for me, I do, I smell something. It doesn't like off put me though. To me, I feel like it smells like cauliflower because cauliflower oftentimes doesn't smell that great depending on how it's cooked. Uh, but for me, unlike the other riced cauliflower that we have had in a lot of her other dishes, this one misses the mark for me. And I think it's because it's not seasoned at all. It's just plain white cauliflower, or at least it seems to be. Because whenever you look at it visually before we kind of like started eating and mixing things up a little bit, there was no like seasoning on it or anything. There was no sauce on it other than the, the sauce that was kind of on the, the fake beef or whatever you want to call it. So I didn't love that. It tasted more just like eating a mouthful of cauliflower, which I like cauliflower, but I never eat it with a burger. So to me, it was a clash of tastes for that. So did not love that. I do think that the fake beef was done well. It did actually have the flavor of hamburger. Like it tasted like it should taste. The, and go ahead. What about the cheese? Cause it's one big piece here. The cheese was a little bit annoying. It did not, you know, really stay in a, in a nice gooey kind of cheese state. It kind of you know how things get in the microwave sometimes it will get hard you know so i didn't particularly love that maybe it would have been better if the cheese had been like buried underneath perhaps so that was not my favorite the sauce really just tasted like ketchup yeah i was gonna say i think the secret sauce here is because i was looking at the ingredients mm -hmm. it says on there and that's what I'm guessing it is, the secret sauce. Mm -hmm. Mayo, mustard, and ketchup. 
Yeah, exactly. Which I think so too. I don't mind. I like that. Well, I don't love mayo or mustard, but to me, it just tasted overwhelmingly of ketchup. So if it was a mixture of those, then it was okay. But I expected a little bit something more because on the cover, the sauce looks almost like a chipotle looking sauce. It's kind of like light orange, but in here it's just straight up red. So I don't know what's going on with that, but Overall, I just feel like the riced cauliflower really just missed the mark on this because it did not go with the other flavors in this bowl. So the top half of it, pretty good. The bottom half, not so great. To sum it up, guys, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.